King tastes fine wines during a trip to a French vineyard as part of his official visit. Charles and his wife Camilla flew to Bordeaux after two days in the capital Paris and were welcomed at the town hall, undergoing repairs after a fire in March. King Charles yesterday toasted the success of his state visit to France while sipping a glass of local Bordeaux. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Charles and his wife Camilla landed in the southwest port after two days in the capital Paris. The king and queen were welcomed at City Hall, which is currently under repair after a fire broke out in March due to widespread unrest, leading to the cancellation at short notice of the planned visit of the royal family. They took the tram to a festival in the city center, part of the British government's big campaign to promote British trade. At a Gilbert Rugby Company stand, Charles successfully hit a ball through a hole as part of a challenge. He tried a Cotswolds whiskey, which sales boss Hughes Roberts' baby said was made from Highgrove barley. Mr. Roberts' baby later said, he loved it. Locals waved French and Union flags and shouted God save the king. Butcher George's Britou, 57, said, this is historic for us. Charles, 74, and Camilla, 76, were shown photos of his visit to the city in 1977, as well as the late Queen Elizabeth's stop in 1992. The couple visited the British Navy ship HMS Iron Duke, which had left its base in Portsmouth for the royal visit. Their next stop in the city famous for its wine, twinned with Bristol and home to around 39,000 Brits, was a vineyard. They tasted a Bordeaux from 2005, the year of their wedding. Charles' speeches in France, well received by the French media, focused on climate change and the Russian invasion of Ukraine. He also promised to ensure that Britain and France remained allies. And in the week that Prime Minister Rishi Sunak scrapped green targets, he called on world leaders to unite against the climate crisis.